Hello and welcome back with me, Admiral. Joining me back on Star Trek Fleet Command, as always. I do apologize in advance. My voice is very off at the moment due to me having COVID. Um, so if I pause the camera or if pause the mic at any point, camera, if I pause the mic at any point, it's probably because I'm coughing my head off. Um, so, boy, I'm going to try my best to get through this video. It's not going to be a very long one. This is going to be part two to the survey ships uh, that I spoke about the other day. Um, and it's going to be about the crew layouts for specific ships and how you should crew the survey ships going forward into even the higher tier ships into the game. Um, I will talk about different layouts though as well because not every player will have the characters that potentially I have. Um, so I will talk about different types of layouts as well. So... As you can see here, this is my crew layout that I specifically use for the Valkus. Um, this is to do ore mining specifically, uh, as this is obviously the ore mining ship for the Romulans. Um, I use this one. Mine's level 25, so I get a bonus there. And just to remember, as I said in the last video, this level specifically relates to the level of the... Uh, or the ability of the ship... Um, to have a higher percentage rating for its whatever ship ability it has. So the level is directly related to that. And then as a secondary, I have Ston in the captain slot because he has a mining rate of the ship 70% if he's mining. Or uh, this is only 70% because he gets synergy with uh, obviously Talan uh, and that synergy allows them to get to 70%. Uh, the reason I have... To, is it to land? Am I... I don't even know if I'm saying her name right now. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> the reason... Uh, to bring even... Jesus Christ, to land. Who the hell's to land? To bring even... I use it uh, to bring, sorry. Uh, as... That increases his ability, and also she comes with protection cargo uh, as her secondary, which is perfect to use on a ship like this, uh, because you want a high protection cargo so that you obviously you can mine for you know a couple of hours without anyone hitting you if you have them sort of agreements uh, on your servers or whatever else. Um, you might not, so this might not be useful to you, but she still gives the increase anyway, um, so he can mine faster. Uh, which is always good to have. Like I say, depending on the level, you m she might not be 200% protection cargo, but she might be, she'll be certainly something for you to use. And then I have uh, 10 of 10, or 10 of 11 now, I think it is. So 10 of 11, uh, because his secondary ability is he increases the mining speed of the ship by 100%, and this doesn't matter what ship he's on, it's always 100%. Um, he obviously has his own captain's ability for pass deal and trit and uh, delithium. But his secondary ability is where you're going to use him or utilize him the most because of that 100% bonus that he gets. So that is the crew layout I use for the Valkis. Uh, the undercrew, don't even undercrew it because there's no point in my opinion. So I don't put any undercrew on the ship whatsoever. Um, I just don't see the point in doing that i think it's just a waste of space uh, and p officers to be honest um other than that going to other ships so the crew i use for i'll stay on this ship actually the crew i use for if i'm mining gas is exactly the same crew layout the only difference is i swap to ping round with ston so to to bring is the then the captain as her ability is obviously her captain's ability is to mine gas. And again, she gets the same 70% bonus once she's in the captain slot and Ston being in the sort of officer slot. Uh, the only the only difference is, is uh, Ston's secondary ability is kind of useless in this loadout uh, other than being the captain, but his secondary ability is kind of useless because... He only increases the cargo capacity by 35%. So he's very good to use when you're base raiding or anything like that. Get him in your ship. 
Um, so when you're base raiding, if you can get a ship with decent cargo capacity like with this one, I've got a cargo capacity of 2 million in this ship. So when you're base raiding, that is obviously going to be very useful. Uh, and I spoke about the better base raiding ships in the last game, in the last video. So if you haven't checked it out already, go check out that video. Uh, and then, like I say, you want him definitely on your, on your ship if you're going to be base raiding. Uh, and then the only other crew that you would use is for the crystal. And the crew you're going to use for crystal is you're going to use Barrett. It's going to be exactly the same. So it's probably going to be to Pring and then Barrett as your captain. And then again, 10 of 11. Uh, Barrett, due to the fact that he obviously increases your crystal mining, and you're going to utilize him with the uh, Klingon vessel, which is going to be this one here, the, the Cavort. Obviously, you're going to try and use uh, to bring with the USS Antares again due to the gas benefit and then the crystal benefit with Barrett. If you don't have these ships as of yet, you can always utilize the Horizon. Uh, Horizon is still going to be very good at this uh, and just make sure you utilize these officers to benefit the fact that you're going to be mining faster on the specific resources themselves outside of them what i use for isogen is this crew layout here just because they don't need to be amazing uh, and they increase the mi mining uh for isogen so she increases it by 40 percent and then i mean i know it's a data mining vessel this I only use this because it has a protected cargo, as I said in the last video. And then as a secondary, we use um, Ellie. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. But Ellie uh, increases again the mining for isogen by another 40% there. And so it's basically 80% overall. And then just to get a little bit of protection cargo added, we use uh, one of 11 because he had protection cargo by 35%. So yeah, we use this ship for our isogen. If we are just going to mine it for hours and hours. But if we want to mine quick isogen, we use the Meridian. As that specifically is designed to mine isogen. With an incredible bonus of 22.25. Uh, it's very good for it. Outside of this crew, we use then our... Um, we use our we do, do data mining crew. Our data mining crew consists of some very similar officers. So we use uh, Zhou Huin as our captain, as his captain's ability is increase the protection cargo by 50%. And then his secondary ability is increase the mining rate of the ship by 100% when mining corrupt data or decoded data. So again, we use him as the captain. Then we use, if we, it depends how much we want to mine, we use obviously 10 of 11 uh, once again to increase that mining speed even more. And then to, to increase the cargo capacity of the ship, uh, we use to bring if we have her available. If she's not available, then we'll use one of 10 uh, for the, the, the ship loadout just to increase the protection cargo so that you can stay on the node for much longer. Uh, in the data corrupt or you can just obviously you can't stay on the nodes because they, they, they have to reset them but you can go on and off them as many times as you like other than that they are the crew layouts that i personally use for all the different survey ships and i will be using them into the future hopefully this video has been useful to you if it has don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, i will see you next time bye bye for now